What's up everybody, in this video I have a reader review, uh, which is actually a new iPhone app, uh, which I'm going to be reviewing, which is the replacement for Google Reader, one of the free alternatives, and it really is really slick and I like it, it works a lot like Google Reader, and so let's jump right into the review here, I'll go ahead and open it up here, and as you can see, you are actually greeted directly with your feed, down here in the bottom right, you can refresh your feed, uh, as you can see, it's refreshing all of them right now, and it's caching them, you can also go into your starred stories right here, by clicking the little tab in the bottom, you can also go to the center, which is where all the stories are, or you can go to the right, which is all items. Uh, so basically, yeah, well the middle is unread and the right is all items actually, excuse me. Then in the upper right here you can actually click to add a subscription which is very easy, you can type it in right there. And also if you go into here you can see the unread and these are all your subscriptions so that's how you read your stories. So I'll go ahead and pop into here into 9 to 5 Mac. You can go ahead and open up Pebble Smartwatch announces uh, their Best Buy as exclusive retail partner is the story. So as you can see you can swipe to the right to go back to the list or to open the app in a browser. So if I go ahead down here, there's actually two Marcus Unread, there's two Star It, you can move down the pages like that, or you can actually click here to share it in any of these exclusive sites, which is really nice. So if I scroll to the right here, as you can see, it opens directly in an in-app browser. Go back to the left here uh, to the app, and if I go back here, scroll left, it will go directly back into the stories. Uh, up here, you can actually see where it's coming from. You can mark it as red. If you go back into the stories here, you can switch between any of these stories, and as you can see, it works quite well. You can switch between any of the websites, and it's formatted very nicely here uh, to scroll down. And also up here in the right, you can change the font size, and you can actually uh, click here to see if nothing's happening. Uh, so basically, that's it. That's how you read the stories. Uh, if you go into settings here, you can actually edit the app settings. You can order the unread items. You can view it in article view. You can view the in-app browser, change the open article link settings, uh, change the navigation bar, open folders. You can change the, the gestures from sliding to right to left. You can also change what is actually displayed and what is marked as red. Uh, the cache actually shows you what's cleared, so I'll clear the icon cache and I'll clear the image cache so I don't want to have this stored on my device. Uh, here you can also add an account. This app actually supports readability.com, feedbin.me, feedly.com, feedwrangler.net, feedafever.com, and local. I just simply use local because standalone RSS uh, without syncing is still a work in process. It says so it's not working as well as the other apps, but I still use it anyways because I don't have an account on any of these. I've heard that Feedly and all those work well, so all you have to do is click and it will load the site for you to sign up or add your account. Uh, and those actually sync. The local RSS just stores these stories. So that's how you add, that's how you actually add an RSS account. You can also add an account like that. Uh, and once you add an account, you can edit settings like there. I can go into the RSS account I have and refresh on start, should the unread count, all of that good stuff. Uh, so if you scroll down, you can also edit your sharing services. You can go in here and edit sharing, and you can also sign in uh, with all of those good sharing apps that I showed you before. And overall, that's pretty much the uh, app of Reader by the author in the App Store. It's a great alternative for Google Reader. Works very well. I like it a lot. And overall, I think people will enjoy this app. It's great that uh, people are replacing Google Reader with some great apps out there. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate, thumbs up, and favorite it, as well as subscribe for more vlog videos and more app reviews. I will be up uploading app reviews pretty much every day, if not regularly, uh, every couple of days. So stay tuned for those. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, and my other main channel in the description. Those are great ways to stay up to date with me because I update those regularly as well. If you're interested in, in getting paid apps for iOS or Android for free, go ahead and check out the link in the description as well. And again, hopefully you enjoy Reader. The link to download will be in the description. And stay tuned for more vlog videos and app reviews, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.